Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. Today I want to talk about psychosis, which is an umbrella term that represents a range of severe mental health symptoms. Now the most notable, of course, is loss of contact with reality, where someone perceives things that are not real. They're having hallucinations, or they hold beliefs that are not based in reality, delusions. So psychosis usually has its first onset in a person's late teen years or in their early 20s, and it affects about three out of every 100 people in their lifetime. Now antipsychotic medication is the first line treatment for psychosis, but it's not always effective, with a proportion of patients experiencing ongoing symptoms or unwanted side effects. So because of this, complementary treatment options have been explored in recent years. So the research paper I'm citing today was published in the journal Early Intervention Psychiatry in March of 2018. The researchers conducted a systematic review of all the available studies using various supplements as a complement to treatment of first episode psychosis. So the team brought together data from eight independent clinical trials of nutrient supplementation uh, in 457 young people in the early stages of psychotic illness such as schizophrenia. So they concluded that from all the available research, there's early indication that certain nutrients may be beneficial not to replace standard treatment, but as an add-on treatment for some patients. Now one nutrient that's showing tremendous promise is the amino acid L-taurine, which is found naturally in foods like shellfish and turkey. They cite an impressive clinical trial conducted in Melbourne involving 121 young patients with psychosis, which found that four grams of taurine per day reduced psychotic symptoms within just 12 weeks when they added it to the treatment protocol. In, an, in another study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry, researchers allocated 47 patients to receive four grams of taurine and 39 patients to receive a placebo once a day over a 12-week period. Now prior to the trial, all the patients were assessed, they had a psychiatric assessment for psychiatric symptoms, cognition, social and, occu and occupational functioning, tolerance to medication and side effects. Then they tested these patients again at six weeks and then at 12 weeks. The researchers stated, our positive results provide evidence for the potential benefits of taurine as a safe complementary treatment for psychosis and possibly other mental health conditions. Now a study conducted as far back as 1977 suggested taurine may help reduce severe psychiatric symptoms such as delirium, hallucinations, and mental impairment. In another study uh, where they, they were involving 22 patients undergoing treatment for alcohol withdrawal, they were given one gram of taurine three times a day over a seven day period and they experienced fewer psychiatric symptoms compared to a historical comparison group who hadn't received taurine. It's interesting to note that taurine concentrations have been shown to be decreased in people with schizophrenia and that higher levels of taurine in the frontal cortex, an area of the brain associated with cognition of people with schizophrenia, was found to be associated with better cognitive functioning uh, specifically faster information processing. So how might taurine help? Well, taurine has been shown to protect the brain from inflammation, toxins, and protein deficiencies. But it also has inhibitory influences on the activity of the nervous system. Now in psychosis, it's been linked to overactivity of the nervous system and higher levels of dopamine. So the systematic review also showed that certain antioxidant supplements such as N-acetylcysteine and vitamin C may also be effective, particularly for patients with psychosis where there's higher levels of oxidative stress involved. And studies using omega-3 fats show that although these appear to improve brain health in young people with psychosis, the evidence for actually reducing psychotic symptoms is still conflicting. We're not sure yet about omega-3 fats. But I think the take-home message for me is that a considerable, a considerable number of teenagers and 20-something year olds experience a first episode psychosis during this critical stage in life that can change the course of their life for many years to come. Now unfortunately, not all patients have a complete response to medication. And in these cases, the evidence suggests that in, in, addi in addition to antipsychotic drugs, 
the complementary administration of l taurine and possibly vitamin C and n acetylcysteine should be considered to help improve outcomes for these patients and improve their quality of life. Now, not all doctors have seen this research and thus it may be useful to provide them with the research references cited below should you know of a situation where an individual may benefit from this information. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.